<coughs> Namaste, blessings. I decided to make a video today because I'm hearing so much conversation and videos about the ascension process and there's been a topic in my group, the Rainbow Tribe, hi my brothers and sisters, um, about what it is to ascend. I think we're all really confused and we're all searching for answers right now about what is going on. Is anything going on? Do we feel it? Is it a big mass hallucination? Do you know these questions? And I think the first question we have to ask ourselves is how do I feel different? Do I feel any different at all? From last year, I feel hugely different. I vibrate all the time. That's a big difference. And I don't think that's normal. Maybe I am um, eating the wrong food. I don't know. No, but I know that's a big difference. The feeling, the way I feel inside, my consciousness changed completely from... I've never really lived in the ego ego so much to speak. I think everyone does to a certain extent how the world affects us as people. And then something changed in me where it was no longer how does the world affect me, it was how does the world affect everyone? How do I affect everyone? How What does my actions and energies do on the consciousness of everybody? And I became very mindful of how my thoughts are projected to the cosmos, to the collective whole of everybody. And it started making me feel totally different to everyone on the planet. I suddenly felt a surge of complete unconditional love for everyone, everyone, every being. I see everybody as the spirit being, not as the body, not as the person they are now, as the, as the infinite, immortal being that they are. And as such, I could see the world from a different perspective. And I think that's one of the first stages of ascension, is to see everyone as a mirror of yourself. We're all one part of the same energy. We may have had different lives, the lives that have led up to this life. How has that made us who we are? The people have taken wrong roads, and that's their mortal body that they're in, and the brain and how they perceive the world around them. That's what makes them who they are right now. It's not who they are as a soul being. As a soul being, they wouldn't choose the same things that they're choosing in this life. So it's getting to know you as the soul being. And once you get to that stage, you, you can't help but feel unconditional love for everyone. I want to hug everyone, tell them I love them, but as unfortunate in this, this paradigm we're in right now, we can't do that without being classed as a nut. A barat, a nut. Uh, sorry, it's one thing from my group this morning, talking about shells and nuts. What is a nut? What is the shell? The shell is the body we live in, I believe. That's what I think. That's the shell. Once you break that down, you're really true nut that you are. And you all know what I'm like. Um, so for those, who, for those who are watching who don't know the group, just ignore that last part. That's only for my family in the group. And Jew Marie, your arrows of love, they really helped me. They really made a spark on my soul. So thank you for that, my sister. Niraj, I love you, brother. You are amazing. You make me smile and laugh every day. And Sonia, you are just a little glow of happiness. You make me smile totally as well. Everyone, Nick, everyone, everyone is so amazing. Chad, Rina, I love the new name, aka Tristan. I'm going to forget everybody here, but I'm trying to give everyone a shout out. Susie, Amy, Mandy, all my new beautiful family. Susie, I've not seen you for a while. Where are you? You need to start sharing some more. Sally, Sally, you've been gone a whole week. Where are you, girl? But these people that I'm mentioning now, they complete my soul family. And I'm so sorry, I've forgotten names. I do know I have forgotten names. Stephen, I did forget you. All the Stevens, there's more than one. They share the love with us on a daily basis. We're not frightened in the group to say, I love you. I feel so much love. I want to hug you. I want to meet you. Genuinely meaning it. That is the step to the new world. That is where we're going to be, that's where everything's going to be different. Where we don't have to hold back our emotions and our true feelings towards people or beings or be able to say, I love Gaia. I want to lie down and put my hands on Gaia and give her my love and my energy. No longer will we be scared to do that. We're going to be free. And in this little family I'm in now, that showed me a glimpse of what the world could be like. That none of us hold back. We're not scared of ridicule or judgment in our little family. We're all able to express ourselves divinely and be us. Having them in my life allows me to be me. 
and that's really important. And once we surround ourselves with all our friends and family of the soul, the spirit, you can truly shine. And this is where the new consciousness is leading. This is where we're. This is ascension, where we're letting go of our chains, our manacles. We're opening our doors, our self-imposed prison, because we've chose to keep ourselves in these prisons because it's safe. Once you open the doors, it's scary. It's wild out there. You feel raw, raw with emotion. But once you surround yourself with your family, it's all good. So step one in ascension process is be the love. Feel the love and be you. Be who you truly are. I love you all, my beautiful family. Namaste. I'll speak to you soon.